I'd right swipe on all of you. That's oh, like, wow. it's just a base. Oh, wow. Like, Thank you're you. a beautiful man. Or like, like I, I, do. I think <laughs> you <laughs>
style and engage with style that you like and be confident with that. I met a friend um, in high school, and so he always dressed comfortably in case he ever had to defend himself. And I liked that idea, and I was like, because we kind of grew up in the same neighborhood, um, it made sense. So I always liked shorts. Um, and I always liked a comfortable t-shirt in case I had to run away or something. I'd love to see you in a long skirt though, like a flowy one too that you can run in. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, go for it. You can pick out my next outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all good <laughs> thrifting after this. <laughs> I want to change myself to switching with Nick, just because like based off of style as well, like I know you're shocked right now, but like you the think? thing is is that like, you can you can see this as style, but I see you as style. I really wow, I saw really it, so that's wow. why. That's okay. Why. I, I, you volunteer as a superhero. I like it. it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. We are not our clothes. Like yeah, yeah. I do like that? Yeah. Yeah. Just wear what you want. It's you know, an attitude. Yeah. yeah. If you thought like this is a very masculine person, who's like your prime example of? The first person that comes to mind is my stepdad. Um, he really stepped up and took my mom in when she was sick, and took in two stepsons, my brother and myself. He has cried in front of me. He has cried in front of my mom. I know we separate femininity and masculinity, but like I think if you're peak femininity or peak masculinity, you're in tune with both sides of your emotions. Honestly, growing up, masculinity was taught to me as pretty much just an absence of emotion. I knew that that was wrong, so I've just been like masculinity, femininity, it's not even real, we're just taking traits that all humans can have and applying a word to it. Yeah. So I don't know where I stand. I'd like to just throw myself at the end. If... I'll go with oh, you. Oh. I, don't like, I don't like the modern don't version of masculinity, oh. so I wouldn't okay. associate myself yeah. with it. Obviously, you are very influenced by your stepdad. For sure. And if that is your definition of masculinity, and that's the healthiest definition I've ever heard, you deserve to be here. I'm on my own journey, and like I still got to get my anger under control too. And, oh, I understand, you know, but so. you had an opportunity to look at someone who maybe not mastered it, but understood both sides of the spectrum. Therefore, I think your upbringing and your way of seeing things makes you deserve this spot. I like that you said too, you were like, I'm still working on it. If you had told us that like, no, you're the perfect one already, you've achieved <laughs> masculinity, then you wouldn't deserve the top spot. No one will ever be like a perfect man, but that mindset will make you a perfect man. That means a lot, that's, that's you, pretty cool. You give dad energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a dad, so I, I'm yeah. trying, trying to be better for my daughter, you know, so, so I appreciate it. That means a lot. Well, then get up here, you're one. Yeah, I think get you up deserve that one. <laughs> if I had to make a switch, I'd switch you and you. Just vibe, I'm honestly. Moved. But where do you feel like you belong? Because you don't have to yeah, switch like, if you don't want to. I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. I think masculinity, like we said, is one of these topics where it is changing every single day. Like something new comes out and then it's like, oh, well, it's masculine to do this. It's not masculine to do this. And it's like, you know, it really depends on where we've been throughout our lives, what we've experienced and what we've gone through. But I think this is a question that transcends, you know, six spots. I, I think this is something that we're going to deal with for generations still. Based on that answer, and you're admitting that you are working through your emotions, I don't feel like I'm at that level yet, so I would put you here based on that one. I'd say it all kind of boils down to like hormones, if that makes sense, and like testosterone versus estrogen. Naturally, our testosterone levels are going to drop as we get older. Does that make us less of a man in your eyes then? Because like, okay. I don't think less of a man. I don't think less masculine either. Okay, so then should that be a valid argument in terms of masculinity. I guess when I see a man, like I was able to see like kind of straight away, like where you guys stood, if that makes sense. Like I saw you guys as more feminine. I think a man, it's more about like dominance, if that makes sense. Do you think I'm less dominant than you? It's like facial wise. I don't know, I so can't explain it. Facially I'm less dominant than you. I, th I guess my definition of masculinity is more traditional in a sense. I feel like everyone's was maybe like a more newish, like, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. And I don't think that's necessarily real, if that makes sense, like realistic. I think it's, it's like ingrained in us. Like I can't describe it even. Like when I see someone, you could kind of tell if that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, you base it on more physical and that's, that's totally fine. Yeah. yeah, that's totally fine. Growing up, it was always like either black or white, you know, where my parents are like, you're masculine, you're super tough, you're super strong, and you're there at the head of the household, you're always that, or you're, like feminine. So that's something that I've always like kind of seen. That's why I was able to see both sides of like where Michael was coming from. I don't think I deserve the top <laughs> spot. I really do like after hearing your story because I obviously, I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have someone who stepped into my life and really like changed my worldview mm. and changed my perspective on things. So that's why I think you deserve a spot more than I do. And if you, you sure? Yes, <laughs> okay. I'm 100% sure. All right, thank you. 
I think I'm kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very nice smile. That's what Thank I noticed. You. you have a very, I very nice that. smile. I have a lot of moles, um, and I don't have a lot of moles on the rest of my body. It's just all, I just look like a chocolate chip cookie. Um, and then I got <laughs> chocolate a- chip cookies are hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I got um, my scar for when I busted my lip um, playing tag on crutches like a couple of months after my amputation. I think I'm lower on the end for sure. I had to and say, I, I nah, scars are hot. stay there for a second. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stay, there, stay there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. You have not been officially <laughs> switched. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay there. <laughs> so I wouldn't view your face scar as a bad thing? I try to hide mine, <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put you ahead of him. I put you three, you two. You yeah. one for now. Okay. Sounds good, yeah. Why is that? I just think they're more attractive, to be honest. So you're more. into us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, Teasing. you guys both have very nice skin. And so that's why I think you, you guys are, think you are above. Too. Well, thank you, but... <laughs> you seem so uncomfortable with ah. the idea of being judged attractive. I'm actually okay with this spot, just because, like, I mean, like, anxiety tick, so, like, I tend to pick at my face, so that's why I have a lot of acne scars. Yeah, I think you have a very symmetrical face, though, and you have a very yeah. bright smile, so I think yeah. you could also be further up. I would say that so, too. I would yeah, put nice you, eyes. I would put you here, if anything. How do you guys feel? Where do you think you belong? I think I'm higher. Okay. I mean, I don't, be, I don't want to be narcissistic. Right? So, if there's ever a time to be narcissistic, I think it's now. I can look at you and I could see myself getting lost in your eyes. You have very pretty eyes. Oh, there you go. You, have, you don't have to do too much. Like, you're just attractive. So I would like to place you here to my right. Sounds good. You know. <laughs> you should stop me not to be number one. <laughs> you also don't, but there's like, there's something like. Off? No, 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 no. <laughs> like there's something. No, like I say that because I've had an underbite my entire life and I got made fun of a lot in middle school and in high school, and even now, like on the internet, that people think I have features of someone who has Down syndrome because of the almond-shaped eyes, the underbite, kind of just like this weird looking. So I'm completely fine staying where I am. Totally fine with that. I'm just saying, I get what you mean. There's just something off. Wait, let's talk about these almond-shaped eyes because that's always been a beauty symbol yeah, for me. Yeah, that's what I, I yeah. grew up hearing. Oh, that's beauty where are you from? Me. Who's doing this? Yeah. Who did this? Yeah, <laughs> we'll be we'll be <laughs> Give me their names! <laughs> and also, just to call out, even if you had Down syndrome, I don't think that would eliminate you from being the most attractive spot I agree. at all. I think it definitely helps to know that like other people are not seeing me the way that I see myself, where I look in the mirror and I see everyone who made those comments, whereas they look at me for the first time today and they're like, you look fine. Where would you put yourself? Mm. Here. Be honest, it's okay. I think second to first. Second to first? Yeah. I think I'd put you third, because I think your jawline's way stronger than mine. That's I'd put you right here, personally. Any I'm that. Objections? No, objections. No. Yeah. I think you have really nice facial features, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You're almost like one of those elves in like Lord of the Rings or oh, something like that. Yeah. Please. <laughs> a very sharp nose as We're well. We're not getting nerdy here. <laughs> also, I like your confidence. Like you have this yeah. cool confidence. And I think that's part of attractiveness too. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So I would I would personally place you higher up. I don't know where. Number one, dude. <laughs> okay. Do you want to be higher? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I feel like, uh, like especially like keeping you up in number one, it's like it's kind of like you have the humbleness to yourself. That really like resonates well with me because like like I said, I, I don't like attention, um, and it's because I had attention ever since I had one leg when it was amputated at like five years old, you know, and that's why I've never really craved it. It's just I had unwanted attention, and so just to hear like that means a lot. Like it really does. You gotta. You guys are awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was go definitely gonna rank lower, but I don't feel like they rank me out of my disability I don't, or out of pity today. So it, that's why it feels pretty good. I would put you up a second because we got to hear your story too. Yeah, you have a cool story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Story. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I agree. There was beauty being shown all throughout. Thanks. You know? yeah. Thanks. I don't think I deserve to. You two, not only do you know how to dress, you guys are both bubbly personalities. You know, you've got just this glow about both of you that are very warm, inviting it's presences. Sweat. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> so where would you place yourself? Like, where would you feel Honestly, like? Honestly, five or six. Like, I'm just a basic white guy. <laughs> I definitely agree you should be higher. Just from other, like, you know, people's perspectives, like, you really have, like, this good energy that I feel like is really uplifting. I appreciate so. that. Let's put you out of three. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Not too high, but, you know, not too high. <laughs> if I were to place myself, I would feel like I would be right next to Vishan on the right. You guys have more, I feel like, extroverted personalities. So you're more introverted? Yeah, I'd say. Yourself kind of do. I'd say Nick should be higher, personally. I disagree. I think you're a beautiful this man. so hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if, we're, if we're basing it no, no, on like... Personality and looks, yeah. If, if I looked at personality and looks, and even if I wanted to boil it down to like 
right swiping or left swiping, I'd right swipe on all of you. That's oh, like, wow. that's just a base. Oh, wow. Like, Thank you're a beautiful you. man. Or like, like I, do, I think <laughs> you <laughs> I, I want to see you here. Really? Oh, oh, man. Man. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, wow. paper, scissors, shoot. No, I won. I get to stay here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won my choice. I don't get it. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel it. comfortable. Yeah. yeah. It says a lot that this type of situation can bring six people of different backgrounds, different styles, different looks, and we kind of all worked our way from cool. We have basically seen each other naked. <laughs> to, I really love your story. You're so masculine for like dealing with your trauma. And I just find it very therapeutic is the way I would put it. I would have never met people like you, I guess, in my life. It's definitely a unique experience to talk with some of you guys and your personalities, see what you guys all feel. Yeah. 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 I'm glad we got to talk to you. I'm happy you're here too. Likewise. It was cool that something so divisive, like ranking each other or having to put someone front, back last, just like brought us together somehow, which doesn't feel like it would, but. I'm happy that I did this with you guys. Hey, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hug, well, hug. Male to male validation is really, really rare. So it's honestly kind of affirming sometimes when you get validation from other men because we so like desperately kind of deprive ourselves and each other from it. Surround yourself with people who are not only gonna inspire you to be better, but people who accept you as you are. And the people who find you attractive are the people who see past the very, you know, first glance and they look at who you are.